On his 11th birthday, his father took him fishing, and he encountered the biggest surprise of any birthday. Corey Huxley woke up on his 11th birthday to see his dad, Kevin Huxley, standing in his bedroom doorway. Kevin was holding a mug with coffee and smiling. Good morning, son, Kevin said. Good morning, Dad, Corey said. Corey looked at his alarm clock and then asked, Am I late for school? Nope, Kevin answered. You're not going to school today. I'm not? Nope. Happy birthday. We're going fishing. Really? Corey jumped out of his bed to get dressed. Yep, Kevin said. After you get dressed, meet me out front. I've got the boat and fishing poles ready to go. That's awesome, Dad. Corey slipped on a shirt. I'll be right there. After Kevin stopped by a local convenience store to get him and his son breakfast, he drove to the highway and headed south towards Mayflower, Arkansas. Kevin arrived and launched his boat from the Pierce Creek Landing. He used his trolling motor to quietly enter a nearby cove. He anchored the boat to a stump that was sticking out of the water and positioned the boat to rest in the shade. A perfect fishing spot, Kevin said to Corey. Corey smiled because he was enjoying his birthday. Father and son casted their poles and started fishing. Moments later, Corey heard a noise in the woods. Then he heard limbs breaking. Dad, he whispered, there's something in the woods. Son, it's the birds, Kevin said. Don't worry about it. Moments later, Corey heard something shake tree branches. Corey looked at his dad. Kevin shook his head and then whispered, It's just birds. A few minutes after that, something noisy ran from the woods to the shore of the cove. It was a squirrel. The squirrel stopped and stared at Kevin and Corey. So it's not birds, Kevin admitted. It's squirrels. Kevin returned his focus back to the fishing. Corey saw something in the edge of the woods, about seven feet from the ground. It was a pair of eyes. The squirrel ran off, and then a large, hairy creature stepped out of the woods onto the shore. Dad! Corey yelled. Kevin turned while retrieving a pistol from his holster. A dark brown, seven-foot-tall Bigfoot stood there looking at Kevin and Corey. The creature seemed just as surprised to see them as they were surprised to see it. Kevin had his gun pointed at the creature, but thinking it might just be a person in an ape costume, he lowered his weapon. The creature grunted and stepped backwards into the woods while still watching Kevin and Corey. Dad! Corey screamed. Let's get out of here! Kevin holstered his weapon quickly untied the rope from the stump and left the cove at full throttle. Corey watched the creature watching them as they left. On the way back to the landing, Kevin told Corey, let's not tell anybody about this. I don't know if that was real or not. I understand, Dad. I won't tell anyone. 10 years later, Corey saw an article in an old local newspaper about sightings of a Lake Conway monster that occurred in the 50s and 60s. The article mentioned Connor Driscoll, who was an investigator from the Texas Bigfoot Research Center. 